But I would have to face the music. I'm a very sensitive person regarding the musical taste. So I prefer to get wet than to listen to this fucking music. If I got an old power in life, I would ban a stupid music all around the world. But I don't have the power. Yeah. So this is my two days walk. I think I make a I make a habit habit out of it. Pičovala narava tady ta mrtka vůbec pičovala. Narava tady ta mrtka vůbec. I'll make a habit out of it because this my hotel is there and I always walk five minutes here to Sintero, Sintera. That's the main place where people socialize in the night. In the daylight it's, it's totally different, there is no worry, or people just jogging, but in the night there are a lot of people. But I don't work in the day, you know, I never work. Working is for working class, you know. I'm a gentleman, I don't recognize difference between weekdays and weekends. So I'm taking a stroll. I was watching the beers here with the boy. And then I go to this Boulevard Bistro, where they have a great Cubano coffee. So this is my pretty... this is my custom. This is my habit. This is my daily routine. I have a breakfast in hotel or lunch, because I wake up very late. Around noon. I have a lunch. I walk here. I got a coffee. And I'm thinking what to do with my life. <laughs> As Charles Bukowski says, most people know what to do with the life. Me, I wake up, I put my shoes on, and I'm wondering what the fuck is going on. Or something like that. But you know, Charles Bukowski was a hypocrite. Or he was a liar. I hate it. Because he was a hardworking guy. He didn't wake up afternoon. You know. He didn't wake up before. He says like never wake up before noon. But he was he was waking before noon up. He was working hard, writing. He wanna be ambitious cockroach, you know. That's the worst thing ever when you realize that even your even your models were lying to. That's a very bitter thing, you know. Because he was a hardworking guy, he was mediocratic schmuck who had ambition to be famous fucking writer I'm sorry you know that of course but I never you wanna admit it at least Jean Paul said stick to the what they live and Jack Kerouac I think yeah and Marlon Brando Marlon Brando was a great like something is trying to tell me my trip or my life is over because even the phone doesn't work maybe nothing wanna, wants me to record maybe maybe I'm done in this life in this fucking motherfucking journey anyway somehow Panama was my last destination I don't know why but unconsciously I, I keep it in my mind like some country which strikes to me, you know, when I was a kid, I always, or young, I was like, Panama, it must be a really adventurous country, you know. So here I am, and I didn't say it, but unconsciously, ah, green light. Unconsciously, I knew I will finish my trip in Panama. And here I am. It's my 11th or 12th country this year in South America, maybe 60th one. And it's some kind of a mileage, you know. It's a, it's a very strong point for me. It's, it has some meaning. I don't know. Maybe it's a final one, you know. It's a Central America, man. It's telling us something. You can go west, east, north, south. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that's where happened this 
very strange situation when my camera was not on. When I asked the bot or simulator, give me sign. I was shouting like, give me sign. And the bird shit on me. And then the Bitcoin bus passed by. Lightened big bus with the advertisement. There is a Bitcoin International Conference. Where is true. <laughs> I'm mean, like book of kisses. See, what a terrible, horrible life they gotta go through. And then there is this bar, the free boulevard. There was this guy, he looked like my grandfather. He has this ring, gold ring, with the onyx, and he's the owner from Spain. Maybe I'll meet him there. In every country, there is some adventure, you know. In Brazil, I have this adventure, did. But I'm tired by adventure. But at the same time, I cannot go back to some shithole like Malaga. I almost commit suicide in Malaga. That's the most dark place I ever visited. You know, I cannot get settled now. I'm a hobo, you know, I, I cannot. Once I settle, I'm dead, you know. There's no question about this. People like me, born on the road and they die on the road. Here I am, again and again. How are you, amigo?